I guess we should dance. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. I think we're, <laughs> we're live. <laughs> I think we're live. <laughs> yes. Yay. All right. So welcome. And first of all, if you're watching this, I want you to drop some comments below and congratulate Marta because she is, as of today, a best-selling author. So make sure you congratulate her in the comments because this is huge. <laughs> Thank you. I would appreciate that. Yeah. So welcome, everybody who's watching. Welcome to Marta Greca. She's going to be sharing us, sharing with us a little bit today about her book, about who she is, what she does, all of that fabulous stuff. So I'm going to let you go ahead and introduce yourself and I'm going to pull up the stream here so we can see if anybody comments. Awesome. Uh, like Corey said, I'm Marta Saray Greca. I help uh, emerging entrepreneurs um, to build a thriving business. And then I also help visible VIPs totally step into full CEO mode with our online marketing program through my marketing agency, Media the Creative Agency. In my personal life, I uh, emigrated here to the United States from Italy at nine years old. And I think watching my parents come into a brand new country where they knew no one they didn't quite have 100 percent comfort with the language and they brought their five kids over to across across the the sea was an inspiration for me um and quite the lesson in entrepreneurship that when god puts something on your heart you take the leap and you just trust that everything will work out and it will um, which brings me to my book, which I dedicated to my parents, because I always reference back to that crazy idea when all their relatives thought they were bonkers moving to the United States with their five kids and having a phone chain of concern. Um, and I equate that so much to entrepreneurship because it, 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 it sounds so familiar to probably so many of you who are trying to have a thriving business and, and have so many eyes and ears on everything you're doing. Yeah, that is such a good example because you don't know what to expect as much as you can plan. Um, and you're basically showing up and just saying, hey, we're, we're doing this and we're going to make it work no matter what. So mm -hmm. that, that is a very good example. Um, so just a quick question, just because I've read the book, you need to read the book, everybody is watching, um, but I've read it. So I know your, uh, your story about how you became a minimalist and the book is mm -hmm. called The Minimalist, Minimalist Method. And this is mm -hmm. Marta's method for entrepreneurs. Um, so I was wondering if, um, if you had a similar story coming to the United States, if you guys just kind of left everything and were like, hey, we're just coming. No, it's so interesting that you say that. My dad mm -hmm. is known for loving his stuff. He's very proud of his 10,000 plus book collection among 10,000 of everything in, in the collection. So it actually taught me a lot of organizational skills because when we moved to the United States, then we kind of moved from state to state a couple of times uh, because he's a, a professor and he would be requested to go and be a professor here, a professor there. And when you have five kids, you go where you can when you're, especially when you're a PhD in philosophy, for those of you who are in the academia, ac academic world and know how, how hard it is to get, you know, good positions sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, so he taught me a lot about uh, organization because every time we'd pack up a house, I'd be the go-to girl, even as an adult of like, okay, here's how we're going to make everything fit into these boxes. And then of course, right, the experience of moving from house to house and every single time we were carrying all of our stuff with us, which mind you, a lot of it, you know, coming from Italy and having ancestors, you know, very valuable and close to their hearts. So I don't mm -hmm. discount that at all. Uh, it made me as an adult who now as a mom of five, as you can imagine, there's a lot to keep track of, a lot of decisions to make. I found it vital for me to adopt my minimalist method mm -hmm. to be more clear-headed to declutter the overwhelm, the schedule, um, the schedule energy drainers that really aren't necessary. So I invite you, if you're reading the book, to be mindful of those things. Yeah, that's that's really good. I'm always curious about stories like that because um, I grew up about two hours south of here. So I have spent my entire life on the 79 corridor. I really haven't moved a lot. I've traveled, but I haven't moved a lot. So I haven't had those kind of experiences where you travel around and you need to you know, figure out what to do. Um, and I love that um, if you could share just a little bit of your story of how you sure. started 
um, the minimalist movement in your life and then how that kind of rippled out into entrepreneurship? Sure. So we were pregnant with our fifth baby. And I love to use that as a platform because every single time we got pregnant, we were excited. We were like, okay, how the hell are we going to do this? Right. And then everybody looks around and goes, are you really having another kid? I love to use that as a platform because again, whatever decision you make, uh, whatever wonderful gift God brings you into your world, it'll, it'll work out. And so we, it was uh, just as you see the housing market now, it was a seller's market back at that time. We sold our uh, three bedroom, very small ranch style home, not knowing where we were moving. And we ended up for two years having to move into my parents' basement because A, our house sold within a day and uh, B, because it was a seller's market, not necessarily a buyer's market. And when you have five kids, you have a very specific vision of what you need. And multiple times throughout the process, by the way, we would get so close to getting a house and it would fall through. And the minimalist method also applies to that of trusting of like, I don't understand why this happened, but I'm going to trust that there's a plan. And thank God that those houses fell through. So in having to move into my parents' basement, and then I was looking into storage and moving trucks, I was like, the heck with this. I'm just going to have a massive garage sale. We sold all of our stuff. We gave away what we didn't sell. Again, with the energy of it's not a waste. And maybe you're the type that's like, but I paid for this stuff. It was useful for so long. It's a waste to just get rid of it. I wanted to have something meaningful. Well, by you having loved it for the amount of time that you had it, it was meaningful and you just lovingly bless it and give it away, trusting that if you ever need it again, God, the universe will provide for you. And so along with the house, we sold all of our furniture within it to the buyer. He was a young, young buck. I actually, if I ever drive past the house, I still see the same curtains in the same, uh, <laughs> there's big windows. So you can kind of see it's like the same stuff is in there. Uh, not that I'm creeping or anything, but <laughs> But our kids like to drive past sometimes. Yeah. Um, and uh, so to, so we had to move into my parents' basement and I just decided to get rid of it all. I got, we, we got rid of, even, even as I was packing up my clothes, I was like, what am I, a whole suitcase of dresses? When do I ever wear these? So uh, obviously I'm sure many of you are familiar with the capsule wardrobe, similar concept I applied to my own wardrobe and, um, and God allowed us to find the perfect house. That was a complete gut job. So again, we were in my parents' house for in the basement for two years simultaneously. So I had decluttered my stuff, but I was still, and I still at heart am a people pleaser, a yes sayer, a high achiever. So decluttering the stuff wasn't the whole gig. It was also having to recognize that I was saying yes to freebies, yes to trades, yes to doing things at a discount, just out of this energy of desperation yes to volunteer for that yes to donate this and that's beautiful if you have the ability to be of service and i still try to be of service however while living with my, our parents um my mom um was diagnosed with cancer for the second time in her life it, it was breast and kidney and my mom's my best friend and so I just found myself saying no to anything else. I wanted to be present for her. Actually, my although I had to leave my full-time job at the time as well, and it was it was go time to get my business in gear, I said no to that at the same time too because I knew it was I wanted to be most focused on was my mom and her health and being there for her and having a fifth baby and mm -hmm. my husband also lost his job. So it was a crazy time. So it was a perfect time to do a self check and declutter all the energy drainers and um, time suckers out of our lives. My mom is cancer free. I'm so grateful that I was stuck in her basement during that time. Cause imagine how much harder it would be if I had been in a different home mm -hmm. and having to choose between being at home with my kids and being at home with my mom. I got to merge the two and it have the, the honor to, to just be there with her through that and, and, so many other things happen simultaneously. So minimalism saved my life. <laughs> yeah, and I love that it, it it all worked out. Everything always works out. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and you know, from that, you were able to translate that into running your business. Um, mm -hmm. Just a little bit about it, because I don't want to give away the entire book, but just like a hair, just a little teaser for everybody about how that works. 
Yeah, so there is the concept that once you let go of many things and you declutter and you make space that you are creating then kind of a vacuum towards you for the things that you do intentionally want to attract. Mm -hmm. So even though I had to put my thriving business, I was still kind of doing it, but I also got a full-time job at a publishing house, which I loved, the universe provided, best people ever, best company ever. Um, I... I was able to just then naturally start to attract amazing opportunities, high paying clients, um, clients who were forgiving, understanding, loving clients who appreciated having me as the person to provide media as much as I appreciated them having a client. It became just all these mutual relationships of respect and love, just lifting each other up. Um, and I was able to do that because I was able to declutter everything out of my life that wasn't serving myself, my family, or really the world. That's awesome. And if you want to know more about that, you have to get the book. Um, and actually today it's May 14th and it is still available just for a few more hours for free for download um, for your a, a Kindle. So if you have the Kindle app or if you have a Kindle device, you can actually go on Amazon and get it. Um, we'll have to put the link in the comments for you too. You can go on, download it, and it's yours forever for free. So make sure you do that so you can read about the minimalist method. Um, and I wanted to kind of change gears over to talk about this book because you have a lot going on. You're running your companies, you're you know running your household, um, you're homeschooling your kids. So when you decided you wanted to write a book, that was something else you were working into all of that. So tell me a little bit about how you did that, because one of the big questions I get is, oh, how am I going to have time to write a book? Mm -hmm. I used part the minimalist method and part Corey's guidance, right? <laughs> um, and what part of the minimalist method is just being really smart about the way you work, work smarter, not harder. Um, as you can imagine, being a mom who homeschools my five kids, I have limited energy, right, for certain things. Um, and having my minimalist method that really teaches you how to repurpose things that are already valuable, that already exist into another method to um, spread your word and message. I don't want to give it all away because this is like, you know, part of Corey's method too, that she trains you on how to create a book without having to start from scratch, without having to look at a blank canvas and feeling deflated. But in a combination to that, imagine, you know, I have a multi six figure uh, brand. I also um, was supporting my family financially while my husband was building his multi, our multi-million dollar land development uh, empire. So as you can imagine, a lot of times, obviously as a mom, those things take the precedence to everything else. So I had to show up for myself and schedule designated times in my calendar blocked off ahead of time as if I was meeting with the most important client ever. Now, you'd never blow off your most important client ever. Mm -hmm. You'd never blow off a kid's important doctor's appointment. You'd never blow off your kid's baseball game or dance recital or anything that's important to your family. Mm -hmm. So treat yourself with the same respect look ahead to your schedule, block off a set time, start with, start small. Cause some people go, I'm going to do it all in one, in one chunk. And then they spend a whole day just kind of wondering what the heck they're doing. So yeah. I would block off an hour here, an hour here. And then it became a consistent, once we got closer and closer, it became a consistent part of my schedule. Again, as if I had a weekly meeting with my most important client ever. And in this case, I was my own client. Mm -hmm. And then of course we use our, uh, minimalist method for marketing. I don't talk about that as much in the book, but that's coming in the future. Um, we use our minimalist method for marketing for all of our VIPs who are established CEOs or world renowned speakers or featured in um, brand media platforms. And we, I give my team and I give that same respect and effort to the content that we write for myself and in this case my book mm -hmm. again treating my book and myself as the most important client out there because you need to value yourself as much as you value everybody else around you so that's how we were easily able to get my book written edited with Corey's help 
and then to bestseller by 10 a.m. this morning in two categories. And then by now we're bestseller in three categories. We had like over, almost a hundred downloads by like 9 a.m. this morning. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, stick around because at the end, I'm going to give you a special gift because likely if you're in Corey's audience, you're thinking of writing a book, you're thinking of publishing a book, or you want to make your book a bestseller. And Corey and I created something together that we've decided it's too good to keep to ourselves. It is over a $5,000 value gift that I'm giving you at the end of this. So stay tuned. Yes, that will definitely be something you need. So um, I don't know if you guys saw me nodding and going, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh the whole time. Um, thank you for saying everything that is in my head that I keep saying to everybody. I'm glad to see that it works. <laughs> um, sometimes uh, because I have, I have two small children of my own. I feel like I talk and it's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, see what I'm saying. It's not crazy. <laughs> That's how I feel when I talk to my Alexa or Echo or Siri. She just doesn't get me sometimes. They just don't get me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, like working it into your schedule, like it's a doctor's appointment. Like it's an important, uh, an important client. Like that's how you get it done and you have to stick with it. And I know that people will write, write stuff down. They'll even, you know, take my advice on that and then they'll go, oh yeah, but um, such and such shows on or um, yeah, I'm going to go watch the game or whatever. It's like, no, you're not going to make any progress toward that goal unless you stick with that plan. So yeah. thank you for talking about that. Um, and yes, bestseller this morning. So that was so phenomenal. Um, so, you know, you've, you've got the book out now. Um, the way we, we are doing this is that the digital copy comes out first. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you have a plan for the, um, for the paperback? Is there going to be like a launch party or anything, anything special coming up with that? Yeah. So within the next two weeks, we'll get the design done for the paperback version and the hardback version. Those will be available for sale on Kindle. And then actually it happens to be our company's 10 year anniversary coming up in June. Mm -hmm. uh, stay tuned for details because we're going to be having a 10 year anniversary party and uh, that will be combined with a book signing for the book. You'll be able to buy the book. We've got the most charming little uh, artist boutique and coffee shop next to our office they'll be the vendors of the of the book so and i'll be providing a presentation to all entrepreneurs out there on how you can build your own multi six-figure business while having the time to write a book and be a full-time parent to your kids if you want to and so stick around for that because more details will be coming for that that is so fabulous so we're very excited for that coming up um I know you're very busy and uh, we, we went to work this in in the afternoon today to make sure that we got to talk about your book on launch day. Um, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. Um, actually, we have some people watching. So hello. And um, Kara, Kara Peters is on. She said, congratulations. Thank um, you. So we don't have any questions or anything, but I want to go ahead and wrap this up. So if you have um, some sort of advice for people who are, again, super busy, they've got all kinds of stuff going on. Um, is there anything beyond what you were saying about, you know, blocking off the time in your schedule that you would recommend to them as a new author? Yeah, two things. You get to write your best selling book and you get to binge watch hours of te TV if you want to. <laughs> I am so guilty of that. And the other thing is, is I love Corey that you said, I know you, I know you're busy. Um, so many people say that, right? Because uh, maybe this is you if you're listening to there to this, but um, I have multi six figure business. We have a multi million dollar land development company. I homeschool my five kids. I have a team. However, I'm actually I'm not that busy. I don't um, feel like I'm busy. I don't. I have a lot of free time, and that all comes down to the minimalist method. So if you want to feel that way, because I, I actually had a client, we worked through this yesterday. She said, once I start to hit success, because we've gotten her to a certain point of success already, um, I, my brain says, I'm overwhelmed. That's enough for me. That's good. And perhaps that's what your brain tells you too. Well, um, if I, I mean, I guess I could, I would want to be a multi six figure business owner, a multi millionaire uh, empire owner, and have tons of kids and homeschool. 
but I don't really want to be overwhelmed or busy with that stuff all the time. And that's actually a lie that your brain is telling you to keep you small. Mm -hmm. Because as I've elevated levels, I'm able to leverage the income that comes and grow a team, provide opportunities for others, and have ample free time to just hang out with my kids and my friends and my family. What was I doing last night? Free launch day. I was out to dinner with a friend manifesting that today I would be number one bestseller. We had some drinks, we had some avocado sushi and we walked around town and, and it was just like, we were pre-celebrating that I was going to be a bestseller the next day. And that's another thing that I want to tell you. Surround yourself with people who are going to support you, love you, lift you up. And there will be people who are going to have an adverse reaction to you publishing a book. I address that specifically in one of the last chapters of my book. So I invite you to download it, read it. People are telling me, it's again, it's a minimalist book. Corey said, if it was anybody else, I would have sent them back to the drawing board to, to make this a little longer, but it's so on brand for the minimalist method. It's meant to be a super quick, easy read for the overwhelmed entrepreneur like you. So I invite you to take a look at it because you're going to, People are reading it and saying, I'm already sensing a shift within myself. I've started to apply the things. And within a couple of weeks, I'm already seeing a difference in my life. Um, and I was humbled to hear that some people were reading it and, and crying because it just came at the right time. And it just gave them a lot of release from guilt and shame. So I hope that that's what happens for you when you read it. And should I tell them what the gift is, the 5K gift that I'm giving them? Should yes. I tell them that? And Tell them what it is and let them know how you want them to get it. Okay. Yeah. So obviously with Corey's guidance, who's guided many authors out there before to reach number one bestseller, my team, who is, again, keep in mind, guys, we serve VIPs, CEOs, really important people who are truly visible out there. They're getting picked up on docu-series. They're becoming bestsellers. We've created, we've decided to share with you the entire copy and a marketing plan that we use to get me to bestseller by 10 a.m. on launch day. With Corey's guidance and with my team, I'm telling you guys, this campaign document that we're going to give you is worth over $5,000. I'm not exaggerating. That's pretty epic. I'm not bullshitting you. This isn't marketing BS. Corey brought up the idea and I was like, let's do it. This is too good to not share it. Now, of course, you know that if you want it to be super successful, you'd reach out to someone like Corey, right? To, to help you out. So if you want a copy of that, I want you to comment on this, uh, whether it's a replay or you're watching it live, give me that info. I want you to comment, give me that info. And if I see that in the comments, I'll keep watching it in the next couple business days. I will PM you a link to this exclusive copy that is worth over $5,000. And by the way, I also have a free Facebook community where you can come and join me. I'll link that in the comments where we every week are going to be releasing free trainings on how to be an emerging, peaceful, and prosperous entrepreneur in every facet of your life while focusing on your family and your faith. And I love that it's very simple. It's not something that you have to do any sort of complex stuff. Like Marta breaks it all down. It's very easy to do. Very simple changes for your life and huge, huge repercussions. So thank you, Marta. And we will be, um, you know, sharing the link for the book in the comments. Again, it's May 14th and it's only a few more hours that this book is available for free on Kindle. So you'll want to make sure you gra grab that, uh, get your free download today. Um, also, what she said about uh, give me the info, drop it in the comments and we'll get that to you. And also the link for uh, Marta's group, we'll put that in the comments too. If you have questions, if you're watching us on replay, um, be sure you comment, let us know, and we will answer those. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, Marta, for all of your, uh, your wisdom about minimalism and um, for sharing about your book and your story. And congratulations again on becoming a best-selling author today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, bye everyone.